Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me ma'am, can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or how can I get to? Then we mention a place. Four answers. Walk up. Go up. Walk down. Go down. Turn left on turn right on, on the right, on the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now let's try to analyze the expressions walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when giving directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up 5th Avenue or go up 5th Avenue. Now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue. And we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be, walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now, let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to New York Public Library. The question would be, how do I get to New York Public Library? Or, how can I get to New York Public Library? The first instruction would be, walk down Fifth Avenue, or go down Fifth Avenue. So what is the next step to get to New York Public Library. For that, we will use the vocabulary turn right on or turn left on, depending on where our destination is. So to answer that question, we will say turn right on 42nd Street. So what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street? For that, we will use the vocabulary on the right or on the left. So in this case, it's on the left. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give directions using this map. Also, try to give directions to your local supermarket, hospital, school, park, etc. Hello? Hi, teacher. 
Hi, good evening. How are you today? Hello. All fine. Good evening. And you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. How was your vacation? Hi. I, I, I had a little vacation since Thursday. And today was my first day to the return to the work. Okay. Did you go anywhere interesting? Mm, I went to the the Wednesday. I went to the beach, and the Saturday, I I go to to dinner with my parents, and yesterday I went to the beach again. Wasn't it crowded? No había mucha gente. And we went to the uh, a private house. Private. Uh, private house. Oh, it's, okay. it's near private. to the beach. No, no, it's front of the beach. It's near to the beach. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's nice. What about you, Angelica? How was your vacation? Uh, it was fun because uh, on Monday. Uh, we got to the beach with my family. Um, on Wednesday, we got to the Ataco. And on Friday, we, we got to hotel with my husband and my son. So you did a lot of things. That was interesting and nice. <laughs> <laughs> You it, really it enjoyed your vacations. Sí. It once, once a year. Once, once a, year. a year. Okay, it is once a year. It is once a year. Uh huh. Once a year. So that's nice that you uh, enjoyed visiting um, touristic places in El Salvador. Have you ever traveled to another country in vacations? Um, before the pandemic, yes, uh, we got to we got to the New York. This is uh, I'm a final. Oh, did you go to New York before the pandemic? Yes, uh, because the pandemic. Uh, Difficult, huh? difficult. Yes, it is more difficult uh, to, yes, I went to New York last year and I wanted to visit the Statue of the Liberty, but they were asking for the, for the COVID test uh, and it is really, really expensive to have it there. Ahí estaba mucho más caro que acá. Entonces no pudimos subir a la estatua. So, yeah, so sí fuimos en bote, pero no más alrededor. Yeah, so it's more difficult. And that is for today's topic. Vamos a hablar un poco sobre lugares turísticos de Nueva York. So that's nice to, that you already know some of them. Creo que ya habrá visitado algunos de los que vamos a ver. Así que va a ser como un, yeah. So, ya habíamos, eh, puse el video porque pues tenemos el tiempo para empezar la clase. Eh, gracias por haberse unido. Um, let's see, vamos a ver. So, para que se familiaricen un poco. Eh, so, tenemos las top touristic attractions for New York City. Esas son las top touristic attractions, of course there are, hay más lugares hay muchos más lugares, pero estos son como los más conocidos y ya, yeah, Angélica said la club <laughs> which ones of these did you visit? did you visit the uh, Empire State uh, Building? yes, and the 50 Avenue, Avenue yeah, the 50th uh -huh. Avenue yeah, and the Central Park Oh, it's, I love it, this park. They said that it's, it's really huge. I didn't go there. I didn't visit the Central Park. But the Empire State Building at night is amazing. 
Okay, good. The Twin Towers? Yes, the Twin Tower is alone. Oh, yeah. So sad, sad thing there. Okay, so I really, uh, did you go to the Statue of Liberty? And no, because it's expensive. Mm, yeah, it's kind of expensive if you want to enter there, but you can take a boat tour and it is around um, $50, the boat tour around the Statue of Liberty. And that's amazing. The, um, it's really nice. So yeah, this, so those are the most uh, touristic places or the, the top touristic attractions there. So we're going to listen and you can practice pronunciation. Vamos a escucharla porque en la, la conversación que está en la plataforma se mencionan estos lugares. Entonces vamos a, pro, a practicar pronunciación primero. You can repeat at home. Voy a poner el audio para que repitan. Let's see. I'm ready here. Page 89, Exercise 7, Snapshot. Top Tourist Attractions, New York City. Listen and practice. The Empire State Building. Grand Central Terminal. Central Park. Times Square, Rockefeller Center, the Statue of Liberty, Okay, now that we listen pronunciation, is there any of this that you would like to review? Alguna de esas que sientan que está difícil? Okay, I guess that it's a piece of cake. Todas están fáciles entonces. Oh, la, la última. State uh, of Liberty. The statue, statue of Liberty. Statue. Es solo es lo, un poquito cambia la pronunciación, pero casi que es tal cual está escrito. The Statue of Liberty. Statue. Mm -hmm. Any other? Vamos a escuchar otra vez. Page 89, Exercise 7, Snapshot. Top Tourist Attractions, New York City. Listen and practice. The Empire State Building. Grand Central Terminal. Central Park, Times Square, Rockefeller Center, the Statue of Liberty. Okay, yeah, it's like, it's like the Statue, Statue of Liberty, so. Solo el final cambia un poquito. Statue of Liberty. ¿Hay algo otra que tengan eh, dudas o que quisieran reforzar? Okay, so we are good to continue. So, what we have in the platform, lo que tenemos en la plataforma, el video que estaba uh, eh, corriendo al principio de la clase, Tenemos esta conversación titled, Is it far from here? So we're going to listen and I'm going to pause the recording so that you can repeat at home. Y como pueden ver, pues acá se mencionan estos lugares, St. Patrick Cathedral, que esa no estaba en el vocabulario de arriba, déjenme ver, no, no está la Cathedral, but yes. It's another touristic attraction from there. The 
um, Rockefeller Center. Yeah, vimos la imagen por ahí del Rockefeller Center. And this is a very, very high building, um, an Empire State Building. So let's listen to the conversation and repeat after we hear. Page 89, exercise eight, conversation. Is it far from here? Listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am, can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? No sé hasta dónde escucharon, pero creo que tuve una falla de... Se cayó la meeting, so let me play the recording again. Page 89, Exercise 8, Conversation. Is it far from here? Listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Well, now that you practice the conversation, is there any question about vocabulary or pronunciation? No questions? Okay, let us practice one more time before we continue in uh, groups. Page 89, exercise eight, conversation. Is it far from here? Listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral?
Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Okay, as there is just four of you, it's Angelica, I have Hagisel, Mario, and Gustavo. Eh, no voy a hacer breakout rooms, serían solo dos rooms para que puedan practicar. So, um, we are going to practice in the main section as a whole group, como un grupo nada más. Vamos a practicar la conversación aquí, so you can volunteer. Eh, ¿Quiénes van primero? Maybe Angelica and Mario. Okay. Okay. Well, excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it is right across from Rockefeller Center. Feller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Okay, very good. So just a couple of words. It says fifth. Walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. This is fifth. And this is 50th. E Saint, la palabra es Saint. Saint Patrick's Cathedral. And uh, okay, ahora pueden cambiar eh, roles. Ya puede empezar eh, Mario. Ah, Mario empezó, ¿verdad? Entonces ahora puede empezar Angélica y Mario continúa. Okay, excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do you get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? It is far from here. It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Okay, nice. You did a nice job. Lo hicieron muy bien. Ya un poco más seguros que en la anterior. Esta pregunta por alguna razón eh, en, se dificulta un poco. Es como unir todo. How do I get? How do I get to? How do? Suena como how do. Como que se una con una R y una U. How do I get to? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Pueden irlo haciendo por partes. How do I get? How do I get? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Okay, very good. Now let's listen to Hazel and Gustavo. Okay. okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Go ahead, Hex. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> no problem. Mm. ¿Empiezo yo? Sí, please. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick is on the right. 
Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from the Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Okay, now okay. change. Now you start, Hazel. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am, can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? It is far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Okay, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Eso está como un poquito uh, difícil, pero lo hicieron muy bien. Solo falta un poco más de fluidez y seguridad. Esta palabra, Saint, como con el Saint Patrick Cathedral. Esta es, suena como I, Cathedral. Cathedral. Excelente, Saint Patrick's Cathedral. Saint Patrick Cathedral. Muy bien. Um, okay. Now let's listen. Is there someone else? Alguien más quisiera practicar una vez más? No. Okay, so, um, bueno, al principio creo que no había nadie cuando corrí el video, pero ya yeah, eso lo que acaban de hacer es parte de lo que está en la plataforma que luego de haber hecho la conversación tendremos que um, practicar de decir direcciones usando otras frases y van a ver cómo también Hi, las preposiciones que vimos la semana pasada se practican acá y otras eh, expresiones adicionales, cómo dar direcciones. Learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or how can I get to? Then we mention a place. Four answers. Walk up. Go up. Walk down. Go down. Turn left on turn right on, on the right, on the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now, let's try to analyze the expressions walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when giving directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? 
let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up Fifth Avenue or go up Fifth Avenue. Now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue and we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to New York Public Library. The question would be how do I get to New York Public Library? Or how can I get to New York Public Library? The first instruction would be walk down Fifth Avenue or go down Fifth Avenue. So what is the next step to get to New York Public Library? For that we will use the vocabulary turn right on or turn left on depending on where our destination is. So to answer that question we will say turn right on 42nd Street. So what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street? For that we will use the vocabulary on the right or on the left. So in this case it's on the left. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give directions using this map. Also try to give directions to your local supermarket, hospital, school, park, etc. Now that we watched the video, como pueden ver ya practicamos la conversación y ahora iríamos al vocabulario para eh, pedir y dar direcciones. ¿Qué piensan del video? Is it easy or difficult? Well, this is what we watched there. Esta es la gramática de lo que vimos ahí en el video. Es directions, el vocabulario que vamos a utilizar en esta ocasión para eh, preguntar y dar direcciones. Básicamente es lo mismo, eh, dos maneras de preguntar. How do I get to? Y how can I get to? En una estamos, la diferencia del auxiliar que se está utilizando en la primera solo digo ¿Cómo llego a? How do I get to? Y en la segunda How can I get to? ¿Cómo puedo llegar a? It's basically the same. Está preguntando lo mismo. Y luego expresiones que podemos usar. Walk up o go up. Es siempre refiriéndose a avanzar hacia arriba. Y pues se puede mencionar la calle. Avance arriba sobre um, la Fifth Avenue, la quinta avenida. Walk up Fifth Avenue o go up Fifth Avenue. Ambos se refieren a lo mismo, avanzar hacia arriba. Then we have walk down, que sería el opuesto, o go down. Va a avanzar hacia abajo, ir hacia abajo. Walk down or go down Fifth Avenue. Which is the same. Eh, la expresión decir gire es también muy importante, bien uh, básica y utilizada al momento de dar direcciones, which is turn. So, para decirle a alguien gire es decir turn y luego le indicamos si a la derecha o a la izquierda. Si a la izquierda es turn left on y podemos mencionar sobre qué calle o avenida es que va a girar. Turn left on. O si es a la derecha, turn right on y mencionamos hacia dónde, en qué calle o avenida. 
Luego, para decir el lugar que estás buscando está a la derecha o el lugar que buscas está a la izquierda, es it's on. It's on the right or it's on the left. Okay. Let's listen to the audio and you can repeat at home. Page 90, exercise 9, grammar focus. Directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. Okay, before we continue, is there any question? No questions? No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay, para no perdernos, algo muy importante es establecer, como decía en el video, un punto de partida. ¿De dónde usted va a partir? Y es decir hacia dónde va. So we have this map. Eh, tenemos este mapa que es con el que se nos pide que practiquemos en la plataforma. Y aquí pues pueden ver los lugares que hemos estado practicando. Uh, St. Patrick's Cathedral, Rockefeller Center, New York Public Library, Bryant Park, the Empire State Building, uh, the Grand Central Terminal, we have the name of the streets and avenues here. So let's practice in pairs. Vamos a hacer la práctica en pareja, eh, practicando este vocabulario. Y recuerden, importante, establecer un punto de partida. Como decir, por ejemplo, um, yo estoy acá. Estoy, I am in the Bryant Park and I need to go to the Rockefeller Center. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? So you give directions, you may go down on 42nd Street, um, then you go up on 6th Avenue, then you turn, uh, in este caso tendré que girar a la derecha, turn right on, y mencionamos turn right on 49th Street, Y podemos decir, el Rockefeller Center está a la derecha. Rockefeller Center, it's on the right. O simplemente, it's on the right. Eh, ¿Está clara la, la indicación de lo que vamos a hacer? Ok, teacher. Sí. All right, so this is what you have. Esto lo tienen en la presentación. Que mandé la semana antes de la vacación. Es la misma la que vamos a estar usando. So let's practice asking for and giving directions. Practiquen lo más que puedan. Porque ya pues mañana empezamos la sección 4 y esa es simple past. Ya es a different topic. So let's make the two groups para que estén más eh, en confianza. Vamos a hacer solo dos grupos.
Rockefeller Center. How do I get to New York Public Library? Um, Gustavo? Mm, let me see. ¿Y dónde estamos nosotros? Um, and Grand Central Terminal. Ah, okay. Grand Central. Y we are going to New York Public Library. Por ahí vamos a la. A la... A la yeah, a la librería a la pública. La pública. Okay. pública. Okay, okay. Uh, first, I think I put the other one. Go ahead and turn left. So, no recuerdo cómo cómo decía cuánto por la la cantidad de 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 de. The third, the right. Ah, uh, okay. The right. Um, no. um, the turn left. left. For two street. For second, sorry. Este es el punto de partida. Uh -huh. A first. Right. Ah, okay. Turn right. Mm -hmm. uh, on the corner. Turn. On second, on forty second street. Ah, okay. Turn. A la derecha sobre la cuarenta. Dos. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Mm -hmm. On the. For the second street. street. After that, turn left. Then, mm -hmm. turn, turn left on the third street. And after that, turn Madison right. Avenue. Huh? Madison Avenue. Ah, okay. Madison Avenue. Okay. Avenue. Turn, turn left on the Madison Avenue. After that, go down, go down, Hacia abajo. and turn right on the 34th street. Yes. Go out. Then, then go out, go out, and mm -hmm. go up. Go up and turn and right on the 80 Avenue. Go, go out on 50 Avenue. Hacia arriba sobre sí. la 50 Avenue. Ah, pensé que era 8. Okay. 50 Avenue. And then and go out. And then turn left. Mm -hmm. uh, 42 okay. Street. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, no thank you. No perdimos. No perdida. No. Okay. Uh, Mario. No, Angélica. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Partiendo de oh. New, York, New York Public Library. Rockefeller Center. Okay. Um, go, go to left on 52 street. 40 second, 40 second street. Ah, 40 second, sorry. Mm -hmm. no sé si 40 second street and walk up. Go, go up, mm -hmm. um, Yes, go up, go up, subiendo. Go up. Six, six, six Avenue. Mm -hmm. six, six Avenue. And turn on right. Right. To. to on 49th Street. On, on 49th Street. Mm -hmm. And what's up? Ahí, ahí, hasta ahí. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Medio nos perdimos. <ríe> Vamos fácil. Ok. Eh, Mario. Vamos de regreso al Gran Central Terminal. Ok. Well, to ride on 
49th Street. Okay. Then on 50th Avenue, go out. And then to right on 50th Street, 50th Street. And then on Madison, Madison Avenue, to right and go out. On, on Madison Avenue, then uh, to right on 42nd Street. And And then um, Park Avenue, wake up. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No, no, no. Right. right. Left to left. Mm -hmm. Or out. And go out. Or down. Let's go, go down. You dije go out. Es bajando. Go down. Yo dije go out. Subiendo. Oh, okay. Por eso no nos perdimos. Nos fuimos hasta arriba. <risa> <risa> es un poco complicado, pero yo creo que este, este vocabulario nos, de gramática nos, nos, nos ayuda a direcciones. Sí. Es que casi no lo... Bueno con que es difícil en español dar direcciones en inglés más. Bien. Gustavo. Ok. ¿Para dónde nos perdemos? ¿A dónde vamos? Estás en el Empire okay. State, ahora vamos al Brain Park. Mario, pone el cuadrito, le va a tomar copia a la, a la, a la a donde está el texto. Aquí. Okay. Ese va a esperar. Okay. Y este ayuda bastante. Ajá, va a poner la dirección ahora, la, la imagen. ¿Va para dónde vamos? Tiene 20 segundos. <ríe> Del Empire State está... al, al, al New York Public. Ok, go up uh, 50, 50 Avenue and turn left on 42. Well, we're back again. So let's review. Estuve escuchando y pues. Por ahí van llegando, llegando, llegando despacito. Y lo interesante que vi es que pues estaban consultando. Era como, ¿cómo llegó a tal parte? Y miraban ahí la gramática y decían, ah, ok, es go up. No, no go out. So, se estaban corrigiendo ustedes solos. Y eso es lo que les ayuda. Eh, ir chequeando cómo es, cómo se dice y luego practicarlo. Entonces, al principio puede que ustedes revisen el cuadrito como para ver cómo se dice y ya luego lo practican acá. Y así eso les va a ayudar y también se pueden auxiliar del, del mapa anterior, que es este. Tal vez está un poquito, porque aquí hay un montón de calles. Y también eh, es lo que nos dificulta, ¿verdad? Que eh, son calles que no conocemos. Y ya como decía por ahí una compañera, de, ya de por sí es difícil dar direcciones en español. En inglés se nos complica un poquito más porque no estamos familiarizados con esos lugares. No es como que yo le pregunte cómo llego a Metrocentro. Ahí fácil me dicen, te a, hasta, tomas tal bus, te bajas en tal parte, caminas dos cuadras en tal calle y luego bajas de tal. Entonces, porque ya conocemos. Entonces acá esto nos dificulta un poquito pero no es como que imposible. Recuerden que cuando mencionan las calles, eh, son números ordinales. Por ejemplo, aquí la 52, no podemos decir 52 Street, sino que sería 52nd Street. 
eso eh, también escuché que pues de, hay, tienen que recordar que son números eh, ordinales. Aquí no sería 52, sino que 52nd y así. Por ejemplo, acá no sería 43, sino que sería 40, um, 43rd uh, Street. Luego pueden, uh, recuerden que acá tienen otro mapa y podemos establecer, por ejemplo, estoy en Al's Coffee Shop. I am at Al's Coffee Shop. Now, how do I get to, uh, let's see, to Love Department Store? ¿Cómo llego a la Love Department Store? Si estoy aquí en Al's Coffee Shop y quiero ir para acá, a Love Department Store. ¿Cómo diríamos camine hacia arriba en la Second Avenue? Go up. 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 Ajá. O walk up. Walk up. Ajá. Pueden decir go up o walk up. Ok, muy bien. On Second Avenue. Y luego. Then. Turn the left. On Main Street. Turn the left. On Main Street. Mm. And the style of the permanent store. It's on the. It's on right. It's on the right. right. Okay, excellent. So, pueden seguir practicando usando este otro mapa que tienen acá. Y pues todo lo que estamos viendo, recuerden, lo tienen ahí en la en el PowerPoint que les mandé antes de vacación. Y para terminar la sección número 3 nos queda nada más una lectura acerca de un, una caminata en la quinta avenida de New York, en la que también pues eh, seguimos con el vocabulario de esos lugares eh, que son los top touristic attractions in New York. Let's take a look at the reading. Let me share sound again. Okay, let's listen. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in reading for details and making inferences. We'll do this by reading an article titled, A Walk Up Fifth Avenue. A Walk Up Fifth Avenue. One. Start your tour at the Empire State Building on Fifth Avenue, between 33rd and 34th Streets. This building has 102 floors. Take the elevator to the 102nd floor for a great view of New York City. Two. Now walk up Fifth Avenue seven blocks to the New York Public Library. The entrance is between 40th and 42nd Streets. This library holds over 10 million books. Behind the library is Bryant Park. In the summer, there's an outdoor cafe. And at lunch hour, there are free music concerts. Three. Walk up 6th Avenue to 49th Street. You're standing in the middle of the 19 buildings of Rockefeller Center. Turn right on 49th Street, walk another block, and turn left. You're in Rockefeller Plaza. In the winter, you can ice skate in the rink there. Four. Right across from Rockefeller Center on Fifth Avenue is St. Patrick's Cathedral. It's modeled after the cathedral in Cologne, Germany. Go inside St. Patrick's and leave the noisy city behind. Look at the beautiful blue windows. Many of these windows come from France. And that was the reading. I would like to know if you have any question regarding vocabulary or pronunciation on this reading. No questions? Colin, Germany? Yes. Colin, Germany? 
And let's see. In the fourth uh, paragraph. Okay, in the fourth paragraph, and we said that. Model F30 Cathedral in Cologne, Germany. Ah, okay, this is, this is un lugar in Alemania. Mm -hmm. Es un nombre propio. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Any Pero, other question? Uh -huh. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Este... Colon. Colon. Yes, Colon, ah, okay. Germany. Colon, Colon, Germany. Okay, mm -hmm. thanks. You're welcome. Uh, remember that there is, hay un ejercicio después de la lectura que ya lo hicimos, todo lo de la sección 3, ya les mandé las respuestas también. Y el examen que es el midterm exam, eh, pero pues pueden ir avanzando con la sección 4. Mañana la vamos a empezar que es simple past. Así que traten de no perder clase porque pues en esa sección sí nos vamos a detener un poquito. Tenemos bastante que hacer en la sección 4 y pues ahí vamos a partir mañana. So thank you for joining today's section. Try to complete the exercise in the platform and see you tomorrow. Sleep well. Okay. Okay, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye. Tomorrow. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.